Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to Joyful Living. I am so excited to finally be bringing you this video. We have been working on what was supposed to be a fairly minor guest bathroom remodel for weeks now, if not months. I've been filming the progress all along the way. Today I'm going to share with you the before, the after, the pitfalls, the discouragements, the ups, the downs, the joys. You get what I mean. No project like this is ever without some frustration along the way. I'm going to tell you some things that I learned and I'm going to show you the finished product and I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, here is the before of our guest room bathroom. <laughs> it was not a bad bathroom, and really, uh, other than the fact that we had a couple of drainage issues and that was why this whole project started in the first place, it was just boring. Build a grade mirror, build a grade lights, build a grade paint color, build a grade vanity, and it just needed a refresh. We did decide after getting a quote for $14,000 that we did not need nor want to replace the vanity in the mirror that instead of replacing we would refresh what was already there and that included getting just a new toilet seat cleaning the old tile floor framing out the mirror and then we did hire professionals to redo the tile in the shower itself now we decided to frame out the mirror using some tutorials we had actually found on YouTube and I will put a couple of resources for you guys down in the description box below you've probably seen people do this it was less than $20 for the trim and the paint to frame out that mirror. You can see we've used two different uh, types of trim work and that really I felt like made it look that much more custom. A lot of them that I had seen it was just you know a basic frame and this even looked a little bit more high-end to me and it really worked beautifully with the rest of the direction I wanted to go in the bathroom. Okay so tomorrow they are coming to start the bathroom work. Now in theory, there's a reason why I'm documenting this. I'm going to set you down because this is important, okay? In theory, this is supposed to be very easy. <laughs> they said two to three days. I'm such a mess today, y'all. Oh my gosh. Um, they said two to three days and they're going to take the stuff out, bring the new stuff in. Now remember, if you've been following along, I'm sure you have because you've gotten to this point of this video where I've shown you what's going on. The only thing that the people from Romanoff Restorations, which is here in Atlanta, as part of Home Depot, are doing is the actual bath tub and the tile surround. So what they've told me, and I'm documenting this here, is two to three days. So what I'm doing right now is packing up my office, getting all of my construction dust, if you guys have never done uh, projects before, gets into everything. And so I'm trying to make sure I get all of that stuff cleaned up. Um, I want all of my camera stuff out of here, my lighting, all of that. I want gone, I'm moving it all into my bedroom. Max will be set up in the basement. Um, everything else in here is probably pretty much okay. I'm gonna move the printer and just kind of be prepared to have people invade our house because you know how that is it's just it's just a big deal <laughs> it's just a big deal and it's always a lot and in my experience it's always more involved than you think it's going to be but maybe this will be the one time where it's less involved than I think it's going to be so let's ding let's hope for that <laughs> okay so it is the end of day one and I gotta tell you this was one guy that showed up and did all this work today they've got the new tub installed which is much larger than the old tub was i guess the old tub wasn't even standard size and then hold on i'll turn it around and i'll show you the rest of what he accomplished okay so new tub install obviously demo of all the old tile the green board installed and the tile is supposed to go all the way up to the top i'm hoping that is still the case like i'm a little Hmm, I'm just gonna have to double check tomorrow that that is actually the plan. Surely it is. Um, but it, I don't know why it's concerning me that that may not happen. I guess because the green board only has to go to there. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the communication is done well. And hopefully day two will be as great as day one was. So there we go. 
and the tile has all been laid. I am so happy with this just classic, longer subway tile. It's simple, it's classic, it's timeless, and anyone who moves into this house could really change the colors and the decor in this bathroom and make it fit whatever style is their own, but it's fresh and clean and new, which was really the whole point. We really weren't going for, you know, Hollywood fabulous interior designer bathroom. We were going for a really nice family home with a clean, working, guest bathroom. It is almost time for reveal. You know, one thing they never show you whenever anybody does something like this is you still have to do like cleanup. I still need to do some decorative stuff in here, but now I get to clean this tile. Now, we decided not to replace the tile because although it is somewhat dated because it's small tiles, it is in really good shape. It just needs a really good cleaning and we really didn't want to get rid of anything that could, you know, that wasn't usable or really bad. And it's just white tile. It's just smaller than I prefer, but certainly not worth ripping out the whole floor for. So now I'm going to deep clean the tile. So wish me luck. not be happier with the finished product. We spent half the amount of money that we originally thought we were going to have to spend uh, through a lot of hard work for my amazing husband. And also thank you to the guys at Home Depot who did a great job with the tub and the tile work. It's just clean and beautiful and timeless. And I feel like it will really work with this house for at least the next 10 years. I was able to find some really pretty pictures to go over the towel rack. I do hope to add some more decorative touches to this space, but for now, we are good. I'm happy and the project is complete. So I hope you enjoyed our new bathroom. We are already really loving it. I keep peeking in there. You know how you do when you have a new space. And I just love that it's clean and beautiful and it functions great. And I know that when we sell this house, that this bathroom is clean and gorgeous for the next owners as well. And you know, anytime you make improvements on your home, you wanna make sure that they're gonna last for a very long time. And I feel like the choices we made in there are not dated, they're classic choices, and the bathroom should really look good for at least a decade or so. So thanks for joining me. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit those bell notifications so that you don't miss a thing. And comment for me below, what's your next home improvement project? I can't wait to see you next time. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. Bye-bye.